Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We're going for win number 10 and we are not going to randomize a character because we're going to play as the other new character, Icarus here. Seems like an interesting character. We've got Wax Wings, Communion, Curse of the Sun. Interesting stuff here. Not quite sure what to think of it. Uh, as for the question of the day, definitely one I've asked before. Ooh. Okay. Um, definitely one that I've asked before, but what is a custom character you'd like to see? I'm always interested to hear people's update. And for those of you that may have answered it before, just give me something around that. What's a character you'd like to add to any video game you like? Let's extend it to that, shall we? But let's quickly just check over on the Retribution mod pack thing and check the character info. Icarus has default stats. Wax Wings grants her a large stat increase until you take damage for the first time on the floor. Communion reverses the trajectory of all enemy bullets in the room and converts them into homing tears. Very, very nice. Gimmicks. Whenever a new enemy is summoned, it may be upgraded into one of a more challenging variant. The chance for an enemy to upgrade starts at 25%. Um, on hard... Okay, the curse chance can be increased by taking devil deals, taking the negative, having black hearts, and killing angels. The curse chance can be decreased by taking in Okay, that's kind of interesting. The curse chance can only be decreased below the base chance for current difficulty by Eternal Hearts and the Polaroid. Whenever Icarus curse chance reaches 60% or higher, some enemies are able to upgrade twice. Uh, while some burn, your wings will allow you to leave a trail of sticky wax. In the starting room of the... Um, there's a Daedalus statue? Taking damage from the Daedalus statue has a chance to spawn a wax or pitched feather, which restores um, restore and protects your wings respectively. Pitched wings allow you to take damage twice before anything breaks. Okay. So I can hurt myself on that to gain my wings. I see. And then I can use this to... That just blew everything up. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I was meant to do. I love our hair. Ooh, chocolate milk. I eat my don't see often enough. I love chocolate milk. Right, so how exactly do I use this? I don't know what you guys do, but I'm scared. Oh, balls. Okay. That returned us. And now we've got, wo like, these wooden wings. Interesting. It returns you back to the starting room. Hmm. This is definitely a curious character. I'm not quite sure what to think of it. I'm liking this interesting idea of enemies upgrading, having a chance to upgrade if you do evil things and lowering if not. So I do we actually have flight right now? Because we do have wings, but we're walking. So I don't think we actually have flight. I forget what the... There, there's an upgraded enemy there. Oh my god. I might die here, honestly. This is a, a bit of a weird one to do on the street because I don't really know how to uh, play this character yet. I'm hoping we don't die, but... It's certainly plausible. Certainly plausible. Okay, good. Damn it, I need this guy to die so I can actually kill the other enemies in the room. Fuck me. Okay. We do have a heart in here that I'd like to try and grab. Ah, oh, bugger. Doesn't matter. Right. Go on to the boss. If we get a repentance, uh, sorry, a Fiendfolia boss, there is a very strong chance we die here, so... We definitely don't have flight now. We don't get that gained stat increase either. Okay, this isn't... This isn't bad, but it isn't great either. Like, while this boss is fairly easy most of the time, I have at times where he kind of corners you and doesn't really let you escape. I'm trying to destroy some of the poops just to make it a little easier. Okay, nice. And we did get HP as well here. So let me, let me just go back through again, because I'm not 100% sure what my active does. Um... Taking damage to, Okay, wait, go go up again. The statue, sunburn. Where's my active? Starting items. Fiend reverses the trajectory of all enemy bullets. Okay, so that that's th this space bar is the one to, to reverse the trajectory of enemy bullets. That seems really useful. 
Like, especially on big bosses, especially with how quickly it recharges. Sounds really, really good. Okay, let's go down. I'm not sure if we want to be using the, um, the little thingy. Um, this statue at the very start of the floor here. I think so. It doesn't affect our devil deal chance. And we did get one of these feathers here. Oh, and we upgrade. Uh -huh -huh. Oh. God damn it. I got way too close to him then. I don't really care about losing my devil deal. Okay, that is the play. Just use my space bar when he fires a, a, a bomb at me. Stop fucking spawning flies, you dick. Can't bloody kill you. Okay, it was not good for us to lose health that quickly on this floor, but we'll take it as is. It's fine. This upgrading enemies business is uh, a little scary. I'm guessing that could really screw us over. But at least we didn't lose our stats or, or wings to start with. I'm guessing so when, when we get like more red health, we can do a little bit more. Oh, this guy's different. When we get a little bit more red health, we can do a little bit more with the, um, with the statue at the start and maybe take it a few more times. Item room. Not terrible. Slipped rib here can be good. I need to just get a little better at being more active in the usage of my active item. Um, I'm not really using it in the best scenarios right now. And there's a few times already that I could have saved myself from damage by using it. And I need to pay attention to that. Like these guys are perfect. Yeah, look at that is, that is so very strong. Addicted's fine. Obviously, it doesn't do anything to enemies like this, but it's very, very strong for other enemies. And bosses, too. Like, not all the bosses are going to be great for it, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm fully charging right now because we've got the tiers to do so, but I don't need to. Okay, nice. He was very easy this time around. Sometimes he can be a pain. Um, so taking devil deals is actually bad for us, so I'm not going to do that. Um, we, we get, we increase our sunburn chance, I think it is. So we'll go for that. Yeah, okay, so we, we I, I, it's, it's kind of good to do it just to get one. Ooh, look at that guy. That's a really cool enemy. So, are some of these new enemies, or are they just fiend folio enemies that they're picking from? I don't, I don't recognize that enemy there. That's so strong with some of these enemies. I love that. I really love that. That's a lot of fun. Oh, he's got me stuck. That was another one of those upgraded ones. I think it's just going to spice up some room design as well to have um, some upgraded versions of some of the enemies here. I think that's a really, really cool little gimmick for this character. It's going to be fun to kind of play around with. And the fact that it's based on a stat and you can kind of... We can change it a little bit as you play. I like that a lot. That's a really, really cool addition to this character. Um, nah, I'm actually really happy with my Pulse Worm. I realize it doesn't actually do much, but I like it. Good. This is a freebie, pretty much. Bloody Lust, pretty nice, pretty nice. I like that quite a lot. Okay, the bomb, guys. Make sure I don't blow them over, over that bomb rock. That would be a pain in the ass. Holy. These guys are looking awesome. I got a, a mod that resprites some enemies that hadn't been resprited yet. Some really good looking stuff. That 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 might be just a new enemy though. I'm not 100 percent sure. So that that looks very different. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I love this sort of stuff. Might as well destroy some of the poops here. And they're so easy to destroy. That guy got upgraded to a green one. Ah, yeah. This 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 enemy upgrading system. I feel is a really, really... Like, even if that was the only gimmick of the character, I know it's not much, but I'd, I'd still enjoy that. That's really cool. The space bar's definitely got something interesting going on with it as well. Calm down, you. Ooh, I would kind of like to get King Baby. Um, let's see if we can get an additional penny for King Baby. 
we shall see what lies on the rest of this floor. I think there, there is a chest we can open that had some money in it. The fact that it makes them herming as well so they can hit additional like, other enemies is really nice. There's the penny anyways, so we don't need to use our pen. We don't need to use a coin. Right, let's go back over this way. I suppose I could play into this a little more because I've got some red hearts on the floor. Can't take that in it right now. Gives us some extra damage for the floor. Oh, I suppose that's just because we've got um, bloody lust, isn't it? Of course. That's still kind of useful, though. Um, right. Let's buy King Baby. He is my king. He actually does do some, some shooting when he's on his own now. A little bit of a buff to him from one of the mods that I'm using. I really like that. Right. You're going to be a tricky fella, aren't you? Ooh, hello. That's an interesting attack you got there. I'm going to turn those shots into ones that aren't quite as harmful to myself. Nice, he went down quick. The force paper's lovely. Um, keep it going. This is this is good so far. Health is looking rather healthy. <laughs> this gimmick is pretty interesting. We're going to come to this floor, and we do get to keep our wings, interestingly enough. I thought they'd reset at each floor. Now, this is kind of a tricky one. Do we just take enough... I think we take enough for a shop item, I'll be honest. I'm not super enthused by Black Card. It's good, but the stats down can be pretty brutal. Um, and if we don't find good shop items, then what's the point? I might as well grab money and be able to buy the shop item and not get the stats down. It's, it's kind of the same same, really, isn't it? But yeah, King Baby will do a little shoot in here, as you can see. He's got a really cool little animation for him himself as well. Ooh, you fire herming shots, don't you? While I fire them back. Oh, that was a good shot, though, sir. That was a very good shot. Lover's card is probably better to carry than the tower right now. I'm not getting any use out of the tower. Ooh, look at all these guys being upgraded. Familiars get piercing is really nice. Piercing and spectral makes King Baby better, I think. I'm not actually 100% sure what he had to, to start with. Either way, it's nice for other familiars, regardless. Especially with King Baby. On top. Try and blow up some of the mushrooms with these guys, but it's not super plausible. Eh, King Baby got them anyways. Nun's Habit isn't great. I'll definitely take the Soul Heart. Nun's habit really doesn't do much for me right now. we got plenty of other shops to see yet. Nope, I don't want that. Give spectral and piercing to all familiars. Yeah, spectral and piercing. That's so good. We've got a patched heart here. Uh, let's play you a little bit here, shall we? Let's say you don't have to pay out. Didn't pay out with much, unfortunately. Just a pill that I don't recognize. I mean, I do have a... Oh, health's down. God damn. I'm going to have to play this guy out now. Come on, dude. Give me, give me something. Dude. Thank you. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That was very, very good, actually. <laughs> At the end of the day, that worked out very nicely. <laughs> We got a lot of damage for the rest of the floor, which is obviously really nice. But then more importantly, we basically traded a bunch of red hearts on the floor for soul hearts. Ah, we finally got hit. We can pop this to get our wings back, though. Did lose some of our stats in the process, but that's fine. I'm, I'm just going to shoot these like crazy, because they're going to end up bouncing around the room and... And hitting everything anyways. And they've got enough damage, even as their weaker version, to, to kill him pretty fast. Ooh, we got a spin down shard. I love the spin down shards. We'll see what we can uh, see what we can do with that. Not get anything in mind for it right now, but there's definitely a few boss items I know of that could be good. Another lover's card here. Let's pop that. Yeah, there you go. Upgrade our wings one more time. Why not? Worth it for a soul heart. I think at least. 
<laughs> those, both those enemies shot and immediately killed themselves. That's pretty funny. Ooh, I don't recognize these guys. Okay, little bit of a shyster there. That, then them guys were a bit tough. But not terrible. Oh, X. Okay, I don't know if you guys caught what happened there, but that was some fat horse shit. So, I killed the Raggling dude, and it dropped a purple fire. I then blew up the purple fire with a troll bomb, and after the fire had blown up, after the fire had disappeared, the fire shot me. I'm calling BS on that. That was not okay. Okay, well, we're fine though. We're fine. Health is looking okay. Okay, keep her going. Keep getting bosses that don't really shoot much, don't we? Getting hit a lot, but it's mostly fine. Just me being an idiot. I've got enough health to sustain it. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. We got lucky. That is something else right there. That is something else. We um, almost, almost picked up uh, toothpicks. But then I remembered that toothpicks spins down into Sacred Heart. <laughs> Very good item on its own, but spinning down to Sacred Heart, that, that, that gives it a one-up to me. Hey, we'll upgrade our wings again. I really like that concept. It's probably better to spam shots now with the, the, the damage that we have. I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe enter a room, fire a big shot, and then for the little enemies, the smaller ones, we spam. I'm not 100% sure the best way to do it now. Damn it, I was a little bit early on my space bar usage there. What the hell's this guy? It's like a cardboard box. Definitely some new enemies. I know that Fiendfolio did add some new ones in a recent update. Always nice to see Fiendfolio still updating. Okay, soul hearts aren't looking so hot right now. Let's try and be a little more careful, shall we? Try and be a little more careful. Shop, what you got for me? Maybe a soul heart? We do have a greed fight and then a shop, actually. Beautiful. Lots of money right now. Chance to fire a tier that does um, 1.5 times damage and spawns a half. Ooh, wow. Really nice. Really nice. Grab that as well. Why not? I very much like the idea of uh, what we've set out here. So this this ring shot here that we're seeing, it's going to do extra damage, and if it kills, we get a soul heart. That seems really strong, for, especially for a shop item. Actually, thinking about it, like that that's that, that's an item that, in my opinion, should not be in the shop. That's really strong. And it, it, it both increases your damage and survivability. Like, mainly shop items are utility. So I don't know how to feel about that. I'm, I'm wondering what their, uh, what their balancing reasons is for that. Because I, personally, that seems a little off to me. I'm a big, F I, I like, big, uh... Thingy, uh, I, 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 what I was going to say is I really like trying to keep the game as balanced as I can. I realise mods always throw a spanner into that. You're never going to be able to keep your game fully balanced as it, as it would be in vanilla if you're modding. It just isn't plausible. But I do like to try and keep it as close as I can if I can. Oh, bloody hell, you got me. 
more wings there, good. Right, we're looking for our other- Oh, balls! I did not see that there. Okay, finally getting my wing back. Did not see that. Right, need to find our other item room. We don't know where that is right now. Oh, I forgot about the saw blade. Hey, there's those half soul hearts. That's kind of why I risked some of my HP there that seemed a little ill-advised. Just because I knew that we'd be coming into um, coming into some soul hearts reasonably soon. Just because of this new item. Obviously, we're not going to get a ton. It does have to be the thing that kills it to get them. But I'd say like once in every like five or six rooms, we'll probably get one. Which is pretty good going, really. It's better than Book Revelations. And it's a passive. That that's I feel like those are the sort of things you have to like consider when you make an item like this. Like ju just the fact that we got two two half soul hearts there. I think that's too many to get that quickly. Um, orbital familiar that moves further away when blocking projectiles slowly drifts back towards Isaac. Ooh, I like this little fella. He looks cool. Like, you got to compare it to Book Revelations and think, it's a passive item. Is it giving more health than Book of Revelations as a passive that's also a damage upgrade? Because if it is, it's probably too strong. <laughs> By quite, quite a margin. Golem's Rock here. Golden's Rock isn't great. In fact, Golden's Rock isn't very good at all because I don't want to trade the trinket that I currently have. I like the trinket I, I have right now. Yeah, this is like an absurd amount of HP this is giving out right now. I, th I think the fact that we are herming is certainly making it more impressive than it otherwise would be because we're not missing as many. But yeah, this is feeling um, like a very, very strong item. I, I, I do remember this item from... Retribution before uh, Repentance came out in Afterbirth Plus, and it was it was just as good then. This is an Excel flaw, remember? Oh my lord! Okay, that wasn't too hard at all. Get a corn kernel here. Remember, taking the negative gives us a higher chance of getting the upgraded enemies. So we'll go. Polaroid path this time around. Goddamn, coming down has become one of the best mods ever. <laughs> Holy hell. It affects everything that jumps now. That's just so fucking impressive. What we got here? Um, blue flies explode into poison gas. One three blue flies spawn every half red heart regained. We've also got soybean. The soybean's pretty good. I'll take this one though. I thought I'd do this because it's going to be pretty easy. Especially considering we have the ability to reverse the tears. I think a lot of bosses are going to get absolutely demolished. Where is this guy? Oh, you're there. Hello. As long as we can keep our flight. And I think actually we might teleport out if we get hit, which is just as good. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, I think spamming is, is working out just fine for this guy. It's just the only thing it was with the herming is right now I'm hitting all the wrong enemies. I'm hitting all the dips rather than the actual ones I want to kill. Oh, he went down fast. And she did as well. We're at full health now, so that's good. Fire off the herming shots. Could definitely do with a bit more tear rate to charge up a little faster for chocolate milk, but I'm not going to complain right now. Careful the brimstones. Look at that. That damage. Careful the brimstones once again. You're not going to brimstone now, are you? There you go. Beautiful. Easy peasy. So far, this character is proving to be very, very good. It's, it's, oh, okay. Unfortunately, we got teleported out, but that's not that big of an issue. 
because there you go, get our wing again. Because we still get the item. We we still got to keep the item. Basically, blue flies are now going to explode into gas clouds, but we only get them when we regain red hearts or through other means. So, yeah. But there you go. That, that's, that, that's pretty decent. Um, I, I suppose you can utilize that ability for a few things. It's not just a one and done sort of thing. It's It's got a few different things to it, like the ability to get out a boss rush and stuff. We kind of like that over here. We kind of like that. Something I hadn't really considered, but we kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Taken care of. I don't care about money at this point. It's pretty pointless to me. Ooh, some upgraded enemies here. I like seeing, like, that situation where it brings us enemies from, like, flaws that they shouldn't be on sort of thing. It'll upgrade an enemy into an enemy from a future floor. That definitely adds some difficulty. I realize there's a door mimic there, but I don't need it. I'd be fine. Right, not too bad. Ooh, booster pack. Strength, temperance, and three of hearts. Three of hearts, we might as well just proc now. Got a golden heart out of it. And I'll take the temperance. Die, fool. Oh, damn. That was that was very good. Boom. Oh, I might as well play into one of these. Those machines are so weird. <laughs> I think they make very little sense, but I ain't gonna judge. Thank you for killing him. I'm not sure where I'm going to use my temperance yet. Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, oh, plot. It's not giving me the bloody wings. Okay, there you go. Finally. That was way too much health to have donated to that cause. Okay, now I do need you. And I will take this. Yeah, that was way too much health to have given to that cause, but oh well. I knew there was health lying around, so it wouldn't be terrible. A lot of health lying around, in fact. My god. And we'll... I, you got to remember, I'm definitely going to be getting more soul hearts as we go here. Okay, nice. Yeah, there you go. There's the soul heart already. It's only half, but it'll, it'll keep us going for a little while. boss time. I don't think I need to use the soul of Azazel on this this boss. Some of the spiders that are spawning here are getting upgraded as you can see as well, which is kind of interesting. More soul hearts there. Quite a lot more soul hearts. A little bit of meat. I'll check my devil deal. Um, nah. That's not that's not super useful for us either of those. They're, that's only going to give us more replacement chance anyways. Neither of the items are going to benefit me a ton. Let's um... Ah, I've seen if we can get some more wings, but unfortunately not. Okay, I'll sack some health now that some health on the floor. Gives us uh, damage up for the floor as well, which is super important. Okay, let's keep this train moving. Let's keep this train moving. There's two soul hearts this room. There. <laughs> Four in this one room. My goodness. This item is insanely overpowered. We've also got some um, blue flies now, which, there you go, you can see them exploding. There's another. There's another soul hat and another. Yeah, this item, for a shop item, very, very, very overpowered. Oh, balls. That was really stupid. Okay, thanks for the wing back. That might actually be a Soul of Azazel room, you know. Depends if it's got the same champions. 
It does. Okay, let's let's take out the annoying champion first. Good thing is we actually do need the help that we're that we're saying is overpowered. Without it, I'd be in a kind of rough spot, I'll be honest. All the soul hearts is giving me and it's allowing me to get my wings back pretty darn regularly. Which I very much appreciate. Allows me to see the character's gimmick more. Ah, oh, that was so stupid. Okay, this time we can't sacrifice health. We're going to have to deal without flight and without our stats. That was a really, really stupid hit for me there. I just kind of stood there. Right. Get in there. Oh, he knocks back my shots. That's kind of cool. So all I wanted, all I wanted was the soul heart and then to leave. Yeah, we have lost our wings now, unfortunately. We'll, we'll get them back if we get a lot of red hearts, but right now we're not looking at... Looking to see a lot of red hearts, I'll be honest. Oh, you hit me. But this time we don't get teleported. Oh god, I stunned the creep as well. Not... Oh god, he hit me again. Things ain't going so hot, people. Things ain't going so hot. What the hell is that? So, okay, let's let's keep it moving. Do have a sack room there, but that's not super useful to us right now. No zappy zappy. Soul hearts, that's beautiful. That is one of the things we need to survive. These enemies are really cool. I like them. They're a bit tricky, but they're cool. Throwing up bombs and all that sort of stuff. Ah, no soul hearts. There's one, there's one. Yeah, I definitely think the homing is making it as overpowered as it currently is for us. This out. Ugh. Not really worth. Right. Simple enough. <laughs> um, Sinner's Prayer. Uh, 1.4 times damage, 25% chance to survive a fatal blow, scales with luck. Um, chance to smite enemies that damage you. Guaranteed if you survive a fatal blow. Nice. Sounds pretty good to me. And it's more damage as well, which I'm very happy about. Very happy about indeed. Okay, we have our wings back on this floor now. Just our level 1 wings though. I wonder if there's a like one past level 2. There wasn't that I saw, but certainly there's a chance. I'd need to get a lot more health to play around with that though. Oh, stupid me. Balls. Didn't even get it on. A, I, I put in quite a lot of players there, as you can see. Didn't really pay off. Right, let's be careful because I've now put my health into a rather low, low state. There's a soul heart of oh, that. That helps immensely. Oh god, a little bit scared. A little bit scared. The game could give me some red health. I'd be very happy about that. There's a soul heart. Lovely. More flies and spiders you spawn, the better. Hey, stretch the boss. Nice. A lot of mini bombs there. Are these regular burnies? They, 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 I think they've been resprayed. They look a bit scarier now. There's a half soul heart there. That's pretty nice. Double burn hearts. Right, boss time. Not hyper confident on this, but honestly, our active should help a lot. 
I'm going to try and use my big shots because it's very unlikely they'll miss. I'm going to do my charge ups. I'm not actually sure what outputs more DPS, I'll be honest. Ooh, upgraded him into this guy. That's kind of weird to see. A very off-theme enemy to spawn in the Isaac fight. Right. Last set of beams of light, I think. Wail him down with the last few. There you go. Okay, health is fine now. We should be able to get a victory here. I'm still a little bit scared, but we should be fine. Hey, we get that. That's pretty good. Uh, that's kind of good. Malice is meh. We got BLs up here as well, which is kind of good. That's permanent flight now, I think. I'm not exactly sure how flight works with this like that. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, hello. I, I didn't, for some reason, didn't consider this enemy for a second there. We seem to be firing out a, a massive amount of shots sometimes. And it works for me. Okay, I've got a few soul hearts here and there. Can't, unfortunately, pick them up right now. We're pretty much all stocked up for red hearts right now. Ooh, Brother Bobby type enemies here. Oh god, scared the fucking shit out of me, that did. Just getting soul hearts on the field is good regardless of if we can use them or not. That was kind of interesting, I wasn't expecting all that. Boss room, we're not really sure about yet. Oh my lord. <laughs> I love rooms like this. They're so stupid. I kind of love that people take... They take the uh, the chest, because you're usually so powerful when you get there. There's an opportunity to make some really stupid and wacky rooms where it's like every single type of one enemy or... Oh, balls. Oh, you know, th them sort of ones. We're definitely going to take some more damage in here, aren't we? Fucking hell, this is... Tricky. Okay, we're good, we're good. All these battery charge based enemies and we don't have anything to charge up, goddammit. I don't know what's going on with these, like, rows of shots. I'm not sure what item's doing that. Oh fuck, I didn't realize there was a boss in here. I know there's a literal boss bar that tells me that, but forgive me, my brain's small. Forgive my brain for hit us sinned. We got him. I kind of knew this was the wrong way, but I've just been trying to go for extra. Yes. Um. That guy was protecting him. One of the weird things with uh, the new champions mod is that. It doesn't apply the champion color the same way the vanilla game does for some reason. So, as you saw there, the teal colored champion was green because the actual color of the enemy mixed with teal creates green, which is not how champions is, champions are meant to work exactly. That's how it works with this mod sometimes. <gasps> is that a red heart I hear? Holy hell. Don't worry, we've got Beelzebub, so we get free flight anyways. I'm surprised we haven't got conjoined with all these dudes floating around us. Just surprising. Ah, nope. <laughs> Psych. They're coming straight back to you now. Okay. Oh, he got me. He got me. Wow. Right. Back the way we came. All the way back. I, like I said, I knew this was going to be a dead end. I just took it anyways because I want to see if I get some more items along the way, so why not? Ah, those ribbons are my completion marks. I didn't realize I hadn't completed this room. Whoops. I just kind of... Oh, God. I lost two hearts for being way too confident here. I just walked in like I earned the place. 
forgot that I hadn't actually completed this room also walking to that guy. Lots of mistakes being made here, do not judge me. Lots of spiders here. If I get hit, do not judge me. Also good for soul hearts. Okay, here's the boss. Thought it'd be around here somewhere. Look at that, the coming down mod. Fantastic. What a great idea. What a great change. It seems to work with resprited enemies too, which I'm surprised at. I thought resprited enemies it wouldn't work. Whoopsie, got hit a little bit there. I love that pattern it makes when you fire it back. My slip rib just saved me from getting hit there, thank you. Beautiful. Nice win. We got there in the end. Very fun character. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.